let's talk about fear a little bit today. Whew, fear is a force. Um, fear, as ayahuasca has taught me, is, uh, is an experience of resistance. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a loss of trust. When we experience fear, we are in a space of resisting the experience that we're having. Now, let me differentiate between being in the moment fearful, or let's say afraid, versus being fearful. There is a, an instinctive reaction of, of feeling fear that is necessary for our survival. So if I'm standing in traffic, my body will tell me I'm in danger by that rush of fear. That is a very specific classification of fear. Um, which we don't typically experience because most of us are lucky that our lives aren't in danger all of the time, okay? If you're at war, that's a whole different story. You're gonna feel that all the time. But the fear I wanna talk about today is really more about the fear that is based upon the stories that our mind is telling us. In other words, they're not true. Most, 99% of the fear that we experience is based upon a lie that the mind is telling us because it's afraid of something that might happen in the future. Or the mind will also repackage what is happening in the moment in a way that feels like it's, it's not based in trust. So essentially what fear does is it prevents us from seeing reality. Fear is 99% of the time a liar. So when fear comes in, the only question that I've learned to ask myself with ayahuasca's help is, is this true? Is this true? And most of the time, my answer to that is, I don't know. And if it's, I don't know, it's a no. If I'm standing in traffic and I say, is this true that I'm in danger, which I don't have to because I, my instincts tell me, but the answer is clear, yes, that is true. So do something about it. In every other example, oh, I'm scared my house is gonna set fire. I'm scared something's gonna happen to my child. I'm scared I'm gonna get cancer. None of that is actually manifesting. It isn't our reality. So fear is a, uh, a blockage from the experience of truth. So how do we get from a place of fear into a place of truth? It's through acceptance. It's through first accepting what is, saying yes to what it is that we're experiencing. So in ayahuasca, for example, ah, I'm scared all the time. And my mind will tell me a story of, oh my God, I can't handle this. This is too much. This is dark. Something's wrong. I'm sick. Whatever that story is. And when I echo back, is this true? And I know it's not true. My job is to sit and experience the emotions that are true. Well, what am I feeling? I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling vulnerable. I'm feeling shut down. I'm feeling disconnected. Like, okay, being with that. And then when I have the capacity, which I don't always, but when I have the capacity to do something to parent and nurture what's happening as a result of that fear. So if my inner child is scared because the intensity is too much, because she doesn't trust what's happening, maybe I can wrap her in a blankie. Maybe I can grab my tourmaline and work with that on my heart and my solar plexus. Maybe I can spray some rose water and calm my nervous system and you know, basically use my senses in a way that can help my body, specifically nervous system, begin to calm and regulate and normalize. And then the mind will follow. I can't force my mind to not be in a state of fear. It doesn't work. Logic doesn't apply to these spaces. But shamanically speaking, that's why we have so many different tools and allies and modalities that help us navigate the lies that the mind will tell us and come back into a place of regulation, of groundedness, and of empowerment. So acceptance and then a toolkit full of ways to break down the force of fear so that it feels integrated into who we are rather than given the steering wheel because it's, you know, just remember the lies of the darkness, it's not telling the truth. So I hope that's helpful because I think fear is pretty darn universal. Um, and I really thank you so much for listening. My name is Kat Courtney. I'm the CEO of Plant Medicine People. You can visit us at plantmedicinepeople.com. We would love to see you at a future retreat and help you navigate the fears that you carry. Much love. Please drop us a comment, follow our channel if you haven't already, and be well out there.